in the beginning, God created time. Before God created space, God created time. Time and space are created by God for us to exist within. In this week's Torah portion, the Jews are redeemed from slavery in Egypt. And in this week's Torah portion, Parsha's Bo, we read about the last three of the 10 plagues. We read about the plague of locusts, the plague of darkness, and the plague of the death of the firstborn, which happened in the middle of the night. Right before that last plague, God gives the Jewish people their first mitzvah. And the first mitzvah is to give the Jewish people the capacity, the agency to sanctify time, to be able to look up at the moon and declare a new moon, to see the slither of a new moon, and to testify in a rabbinical court that now, because we've seen this new moon, that the new month has begun. So we have some agency. We are now partners with God in declaring holy time. That's what we get as our first mitzvah, as free people. Everything goes after the beginning, says our Kabbalists. When you wake up in the morning and you thank God for your life, for waking you up, that's the beginning of your day. Gratitude is a good foundation for your day. The foundation of the Jewish people is having some control over time, some agency, some partnership with God. And that's foundational to who we are as a people. When we look at the moon and we see that it goes through cycles, that it waxes and wanes, that there's periods where it's darker and periods where it's lighter, that's a message for us that as a nation and as an individual, we also go through those cycles, cycles where we feel down and we're downtrodden and we're not doing our best. And then there's times where we feel full and we feel like we're on our game and we're, and we're good. And we go through those cycles and we go through that just like the moon does. So when we exited Egypt and we were given the first mitzvah of having some agency and some partnership with God over time, God is giving us that as a foundation, that we should not be slaves to time, that we should have our own sense of control over time and agency over time and manage our time well and use our time well.